Publishers are constantly balancing how to generate revenue with how to create great user experiences. Advertiser demand is fragmented and there is always new available distribution inventory. Madison Logic's inventory reservation tool enables publishers to find relevant offers through targeted segmented search queries which will drive incremental revenue to the bottom line and improve user experience. This video tutorial is comprised of five parts. First is how to set your defaults. Second is how to search for and determine the best asset to reserve. Third is how to pick the asset and make a reservation. Fourth is how to generate your email content and modify your reservation. And the fifth is the report section. Now that you are logged in, click on the inventory reservation tab on the navigation bar. Once you have done that, you should choose your default settings for your account. To do this, click the settings tab on the sub navigation toolbar. You will see two sections, set defaults and email settings. In the set default section, you can edit the three items, email provider, landing page, and tracking source that are needed to build out a URL to send to your users, all of which have pre-selected values set up by your Madison Logic account manager during the onboarding process. The email token is used to pass the email address of the recipient into the URL when sending an email through your email service provider. Madison Logic uses this email address to leverage user data to bypass the form. If you want to edit your email token, click the Select Email Provider drop-down. You can choose your email service provider here. If your provider is not there, you can select Other and type the token provided by your email service provider. The landing page menu allows you to choose the registration design that your audience will see once they click through an offer. This landing page is usually a single landing page with the publisher brand or full library of research built by Madison Logic. The tracking source menu allows you to track revenue and different line items on reports. For instance, you may want to track a Tuesday versus a Thursday send. Whenever you change any of your settings, make sure to save your changes. At the bottom of the screen is the email settings section. Madison Logic can send you an automated email of all the newest assets sold by the Madison Logic sales team. You can opt into these emails on your desired schedule, select the verticals you want content on, and enter how many asset recommendations you would like per email. Again, remember to save your settings. To add colleagues who would be interested in the Featured Daily Assets newsletter, click Add a user here. A new window will open. Here you will find a list of all previously added users and an option to edit or delete their contact info. To add a new user, click the New button on the right of the page and scroll down. Assign your new user a username and password in the Login Information area. Fill out all possible information in the User Details section and click Save. You have now successfully set your settings. Now, all the users in this account will be receiving this email and they are able to opt out by selecting the unsubscribe setting in the first email. You are now ready to search for your first asset. After clicking Inventory Reservation, you will see a brief list of featured assets by vertical. If you have many verticals, you can toggle through these featured assets by using the small arrows on either side of these two tabs. There are two ways to search for assets. You can search by keyword or by vertical. When searching by keyword, type in the desired search term and click search. To search by vertical, click the search by vertical tab and select a vertical in the drop down menu and the results will load. You are able to view the results page in either asset view or advertiser view. Asset view allows you to view all the assets related to your search. Advertiser view allows you to view all advertisers with assets related to your search. Each search allows you to sort assets by clicking here. In both options, you have the ability to filter your assets according to your targeted audience. You can filter by audience, country, asset type, and by specific campaign details including minimum leads remaining and campaign ending. For example, if you would like to see all assets targeting for the United States, uncheck All Countries and then select United States. To apply the filters again, hit Search. If you are satisfied with the results a specific keyword or vertical search have yielded, 
you can save your search by clicking the Save Search button. A small window will appear where you will name and save your search results. Click Close to return to your previous page. To view your previously saved searches, click the Save Searches tab. All of your saved search queries will be listed by the date in which they were saved. Click the search button next to the desired search name to go back and see the results of a previously saved search. The results page will display an updated list of assets matching the specifications related to that saved search. If you decide that you do not need a certain saved search anymore, click the X button next to the search you would like to delete. Advertisers give us a finite budget to spend. A reservation is a way for Madison Logic to hold the available leads for two business days. Now it's time to reserve an asset. A few things may affect this decision. The headline and description of the offer, the file you're promoting, the campaign details, and finally the history and performance of reservations in the past. You now see a gray box describing the asset type with a link to the asset itself. Below this are three tabs campaign, reserve now, and reservation history. The campaign tab describes the details of the campaign. It includes the basics such as the audience targets like company size, country, industry, and job title, as well as more advanced features like number of form fields and custom questions. In the reservation history tab, you can see if you reserved this asset before. This will show you when you last reserved the asset how many leads were reserved, and how many leads were delivered. You now have all the necessary information to make your best decision on promoting an asset. To continue with this asset, select the Reserve Now tab, then click the green Reserve button on the right of the asset summary. A window will appear that tells you the number of available leads for that asset. Enter the number of leads you would like to reserve for that asset and click the Reserve button. Now you have made your first reservation. You can now continue and search for more inventory for other email campaigns. Now it is time to get the content and URL for your email sent. You can view the assets that you reserved in the Your Reservation tab in the sub navigation bar. Relevant items like campaign info, a link to the asset, and canceling the reservation are available here. Below, you will see the default landing page and tracking source. You can also select outside of your defaults and choose something unique for this reservation. Once you are satisfied with your landing page and tracking source settings, click Get Email Content. Two boxes will appear on the right hand side of the screen. One has the ad creative and the other has the landing page URL. You can use these two boxes to manage the email blast to your audience. If you click once in each box, it will fully highlight the text within, allowing you to quickly copy and paste this information into your email template. Make sure to note this important item. The landing page URL must be copied and pasted into your email body, not the destination after navigating to a URL in a browser. Your reservation history can be found under the your reservation tab. You can see a report of every reservation you have made in the past with all relevant data. You can sort the reservations by date to narrow down the results and you can navigate through the pages on the right of the screen. One thing to highlight on this report is the fulfillment rate. This will give you a sense of how many leads you can deliver based off of your reservation. For example, if you reserved 100 leads and only generated 80, your fulfillment rate will be 80 percent. You can also export this data to a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet by clicking the export history button on the top right of the result box.